Okay, so I saw this on Twitter. They said, what is the best decade in music? And I got my answer. So for me, I definitely got to go the 90s, particularly I really love the 90s R&B that was coming out at this time. Most of these are R&B albums besides the Paul McCartney album, which I really still do love, by the way, of course. And so yeah, Mariah Carey is my favorite artist of all time. And then just her run in the 90s was absolutely insane. Butterfly is my favorite Mariah album with stuff like Outside. And as someone who's biracial, I could definitely relate to that. Butterfly the song is one of my favorite Mariah songs of all time. The Roof was insane. Fourth of July is amazing. I mean, the vocal layering on this album to die for. The Christmas album, I think, is really great and underrated. Her debut album, my favorite debut album of all time. Rainbow was one of my favorite Mariah albums, as I said a thousand times before, and I feel like y'all do way too much on it. Like, that was a great album with stuff like Heartbreaker and Bliss and Cry Baby and Against the Odds and Ex-Girlfriend definitely should have been a single. So, I mean, Mariah was just really eating in the 90s as far as I'm concerned. One of the best singer-songwriters all time. Her songwriting, absolutely incredible. She doesn't get enough credit and her singing I mean, yeah, she just ate. So I love Mariah Down. And so what I eat. Brandy, this album Never So Never is great with stuff like Angel in Disguise, Put That on Everything, Almost Doesn't Count, The Boy Is Mine with Monica. So there was a lot to love on that album for sure. And her and Dark Child are a really great duo. Janet Jackson, Velvet Rope. I mean, it just blew me away whenever I first heard it. It really did. One of my favorite albums of all time, for sure. And What About was a great moment. I get only one of the best R&B songs to ever be recorded, I fear. I also really like the video for that. God Tell Us Gone was certainly a moment. Go Deep is underrated. Special is always one of my favorite songs and ones that I feel like deserves a little bit more. But I mean, just what she was doing with the alternative R&B and the influence that this album would have is great. It was a very personal album for her as well, kind of talking about her childhood and things that she had been through, and it was really brave of her to do that. And Butterfly was a very personal album for Mariah, too, getting out of her marriage, talking about that. On Close My Eyes, she kind of talks about her childhood a little bit, and she wrote that song over four years. So I appreciate them for doing that, and those are like my two favorite albums ever. Destiny's Child had hits on this album, okay? Say My Name, Ms. Bills, Bills, Bills are still getting played to this day. And, you know, So Good was great, Confessions, Temptations, so there was a lot to like. Whitney Houston with I'm Your Baby Tonight, title track recorded in one take because she wanted to go to the mall uh Whitney's missed Whitney is missed okay and then of course lover for life is like my favorite Whitney Houston song ever so I had to mention that as well I liked I'm knocking we didn't know what Stevie Wonder I thought was a really great duet my name is not Susan was a great track I like this album a lot it's one of her best off the ground Paul McCartney the title track was cute it was hope of deliverance is one of my favorite Paul McCartney songs there's just a lot of joy to it I think and I also really enjoyed like golden earth girl and biker like icon stuff like that so I thought that was a pretty good album some other stuff from the 90s that I really liked is Fiona Apple's When the Pawn album. I believe that was 99. And so she had stuff like Paper Bag, which I thought was a great song. And I really also quite enjoyed Fast As You Can, A Mistake. And what I like about Fiona Apple is that she's just a very personal songwriter and she's really raw. Like she doesn't care about having everything produced perfectly or she doesn't care if she has a crack in her vocal at points. And, you know, just to feel that raw emotion, I really like about Fiona Apple. So she's definitely one of my favorites. So yeah, these are just some of my favorite albums albums that whenever I was thinking about the 90s these just kind of came to mind quickly so I just threw them all together and like I said I really like that Fiona Apple album by the way Fiona Apple's one of my favorites and then if we kind of just talk about the songs that were getting put out in the 90s I mean Whitney had it's not right but it's okay that was a really great song as well so I wanted to mention that Christina Aguilera had some good songs with like Genie in a Bottle I really like that we had a Britney Spears coming out with Baby One More Time, which is one of the best debut singles of all time. And yeah, I have a whole video on my channel and it's just me talking about my favorite songs of the 90s. So you guys can check it out because for some reason I'm just forgetting a lot of it. But yeah, I mean, I typically listen to a lot of older music anyways. Like there's a lot of newer artists that I do like. Don't get me wrong. I like Taylor Swift. I like SZA. I truly do. But there was just something about this particular era of R&B. And even getting into like neo soul and stuff like that that I really liked. Like I love Lauren Hill's debut album was stuff like Tell Him, Everything is Everything, Every Ghetto, Every City, Nothing Even Matters featuring D'Angelo was a beautiful piece. I like D'Angelo's music as well with that album Brown Sugar. I still think that that is his best album. I also got to say that I love the new Jack Swing of the 90s as well. Like stuff like Mariah Carey Working Hard, which got eventually released. Like the new Jack Swing that was on Janet's stuff like Control and the Rhythm Nation album and Michael Jackson Dangerous, I thought was a pretty good album as well. So yes, we have like great R&B, we had great pop music, but we also had great subgenres of R&B. And I just feel like a lot of genres in the 90s, like there's just so many good albums to pull from, so many good artists. And it's just a really great era 
were in regards to it. like I feel like artists were like really pushing the boundaries and coming out with stuff that still sounds great and when you make a great album when you make a great song people can listen to it decades later and still enjoy it so I just think that 90s was just really great in terms of music in general like R&B is like one of my favorite genres and R&B was just really at the top during the 90s and there's a lot of great stuff that I'm still listening to this day that I think it's really held up and I forgot to mention No Scrubs by TLC I mean Candy wrote that I mean my god like she wrote hit after hit after hit in the 90s and we need to talk about that a little bit more and so you know there was the videos that were great as well like artists like they actually had artist development they actually cared about developing artists the performances were going to be on point like the pop culture moments and so yeah i just really love this era in particular and that's why i would say the 90s is my personal favorite for music i do love the 2000s as well i do but i would probably say that i listen to more music from the 90s on a daily basis and just albums and stuff like that and it's just funny because i wasn't even born in the 90s like i wasn't alive this whole era but i just love the music and the quality of it so much i'm 23 years old for reference and yeah so that is my favorite era of music and those are just some of my favorite albums I have many that I really like and it's going to be killing me because I know that I just forgot a lot but that's kind of my point there let me know what your favorite era of music is and why I think there's been a lot of great music and all that stuff over time but 90s just kind of have a special place in my heart but let's continue the conversation down below in the